Hey everybody, Rick's here. Well, I had a pretty interesting morning. I went into a Hobby Lobby uh, here near by in town and uh, wanted just to grab one item. So usually uh, I don't grab a cart, you know, I'm gonna go in and get one item, right? You ever go into a store and you're gonna get one item and then you end up finding out, I wish I had gotten a cart. All right, let's talk about it right after this. All right, well, hey, I want to kind of share a little something something with you today in this video, and that is my little trip into Hobby Lobby, and I guess you can say this is a call out to Hobby Lobby. However, they do not sponsor me, though it certainly would be cool. Hobby Lobby sponsorship. Anyway, uh, this is not sponsored by any company. No company pays me anything, okay? So these are all just products that I bought for myself, uh, so that I can, you know, do my little arts and crafts and drawings and so forth, and also share those little adventures with you. So, with that said, let me show you some of the stuff that I got here. Now you can see I got my hobbyist lobbyist bag here. Now, the reason why I want to share this with you is because, wow, I mean, I went in this store, I bought a lot of cool stuff, that I want to goof around with. I'm really into image transfers. Uh, I like making t-shirts, as you know. Uh, I like to transfer things onto wood. I like to transfer things on the paper. Uh, take my drawings, transfer that. Uh, you know, just all kinds of stuff. Paint, whatever. And supplies could get a little expensive, but there's a crazy sale going on at Hobby Lobby. I guess it's for the holidays or something. I don't know what the deal is. Um, but the thing is, is tons of stuff were like 50% off. Yeah, 50% off. So uh, if you're like watching this right now, you know, it's uh, early December 2019, uh, holiday season, you know, people are shopping for whatever. Um, go in, check out sales because, wait, let me show you. Okay, these little wooden things. I wanna, I wanna put. Uh, looks like I put a. Did I put a footprint on that? No, no, no. That's just got a little something weird from the tree. But you got these wooden things. You know, three bucks. Pretty cool. I think that's their everyday price. Um, but here's what I was really pumped about. For example, and you're gonna see this in some upcoming videos as well. Is I went and I grabbed this. Um, these are called car stock. Uh, those of you who are into mixed media um, arts and crafts type of deal, get that plastic stuff off of there. This has got like a hundred of these um, really cool, they got really neat backgrounds to this stuff. And I don't know, it kind of looks like wallpaper to me. But I, I, I bought the one that's got these neat little advertisement things from like the early 1900s, late 1800s, whatever. Uh, Check your history books for details on that. Just this kind of stuff. This is this is cardstock. I think is what they call this stuff is cardstock, acid free. There, there's 180. 100, let me look how thick that is. 180. It usually goes for 20 bucks. Okay, they say 19.99. That's to make it look cheaper, right? 20 bucks, and you got it at 50% off. It cost me 10 bucks. Or nine dollars and ninety-eight and a half cents, right? Okay. So you'll see in some upcoming videos what I'm going to do with that. Uh, I'm going to be doing some transfers on that and get rid of the old trash. I'll have to get it before my wife comes home. All right. Check out some other stuff I got here. I went online. I was looking for these. Uh, I don't know wood right I want little pieces of wood like you have for coasters or little plaques or whatever the case may be just so I can throw transfers on it uh, I bought some stuff through a dollar store online Dollar Tree whatever uh, I haven't picked it up yet because they, they take forever to get it delivered to the store so there's a little note for Dollar Tree uh, move it move it 
Got to be a little quicker with that shipping there. Anyway, uh, but I didn't realize that Dollar Tree, I mean, um, Hobby Lobby, on any given day, I mean, this is not a sale. This is their regular price. It's, it's on the thing here. The thing called Woodpile, this is called Woodpile, and, and I'm sure a lot of you watching this know exactly what I'm talking about and going, gee, Rex, man, you need to get out more. Like, you know, why didn't I know this? Well, because this is not what I normally do. This is just stuff I'm kind of goofing off with, right? Well, these are little plywood, um, what they call plywood rectangles, plywood circles. And I mean, it's a, it's a big size. And there's six of them on here, right? Six plywood pieces. And it's three bucks. Three bucks. I mean, to me, that's, that's economical to, to do, uh, you know, transfers onto this stuff and, you know, make little plaques or little, little things for coasters or whatever, you know. And, and I can transfer images and stuff on these. And I'm going to be doing that. Upcoming videos. Watch for that. All right bag came for free get rid of that all right let's move this wood thing out of the way here but there's more if you act now oh anyway it's not a commercial okay i'm just gonna put this on my lap a whole lot easier to get to another thing i wanted to do was get some canvas i want to transfer some stuff onto canvas right and i'm thinking man canvas can't be too cheap right it ain't bad it ain't bad or as my mother would say, it isn't bad, Rick. It isn't bad, not ain't. All right, check her out. This is on sale, right? Normally 20 bucks, which I don't think is bad, but uh, it's got seven, seven framed, you can see the frame, framed, canvas of course primed already it's already pre-primed i learned about prime priming and, and gesso i guess when you buy canvas at a uh like a, in a sheet form or as a fabric it's uh, it's it's non-prime or unprimed and so you're supposed to prime it and that's what gives it this white thing i didn't know that i used to oil paint as a kid right obviously as a kid i wasn't an expert or anything so i guess i should be let off the hook on that one but I didn't realize that that's why it's white I thought well that's the way it's made right no nope. you learn a lot when you go to a hobby store I guess if I looked inside I could see that's more tan color and out here it's white but check it out look at that there's seven of these framed super value canvas 11 by 14 inch it's 11 by 14 inch that's not a tiny little thing that's a nice size canvas right do you know what I got this for? $10.99. $10.99. Right now, I go down there right now, they're all 50% off. They're usually $20. And $20 ain't that bad, isn't that bad after all. But $10 for seven canvas? Yeah, okay. But there's more. So I thought, hey, everything else is 50% off. So if it's Master's Touch, which just happens to be Master's Touch, um, they're 50% off. So this is one of those board canvas types. It doesn't have a frame. It's kind of like on a board. Um, how, I don't know how they describe They're called panels. Canvas panels. Canvas panels. Now here you get three of them. And they're this really long rectangle shape. It's 12 by 24. I figured, you know, this would be pretty cool to make one of those things on the wall. Like you have one, two, three. It makes one composite image, but you separate into three panels. You know what I'm talking about, right? Okay. Anyway, uh, normally this is 15 bucks, which, you know, is, I guess that's okay, right? I don't know. I don't usually buy this stuff. But... Today, it's 50% off for $7.50, right? Or $7.48.5. Anyway, that to me is awesome. So, hey, Hobby Lobby, thanks for the sale. I'm like a kid in a candy store. Well, actually, every time I'm in my studio, I feel like a kid in a candy store. It's nice to, nice to come in here and play and make these videos for you guys. 
so you can play along with me, I guess. Um, but there you go. These are all the things I went and bought at Hobby Lobby. I got out of the store with all these canvases, that wood plaque, a bunch of these little plywood panels, and that 180 card stock with some really cool background images. And I got out of there for a few few pennies above 39 bucks. And that's with tax and everything. And tax around here is pretty high. So there you go. All right. Anyway, so I wanted to share that with you. And I guess what I'm going to do now to end this video is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make an image transfer using, using this block of wood. All right, let's get to it. Okay, well, I'm here on my little work desk. And uh, unfortunately, the camera is not high enough to catch this whole thing portrait lengthwise. I mean, if I did it this way, uh, you'd see the whole thing. But I do apologize for that. Um, but there's the wood. It's like uh, $2.99 at uh, Hobbless Lobbless Hobby Lobby. Now, one of the things that uh, I'm going to have to do here is I'm going to have to embellish this a little bit before I do my transfer, and I'll tell you why here. The supplies that I'm going to be using for this particular transfer, and I have several different ways I could do this, but I want to experiment with a way I've never tried before, and that's using this product here called Ink Aid Transferees. It's a concentrate, and what you do is you put a tablespoon in four ounces of 91% uh, isopropyl alcohol. Uh, so what I've done is I put two tablespoons in eight ounces of isopropyl, so I made twice as much. You put it in a jar, you mix it up really good, and then uh, you shake it up every so often for about four hours. And in about uh, six minutes from now, it'll be a, a good even four hours that this mixture uh, has been percolating. And uh, you can use it and then store it away and it's good to keep using until you use it all up. So I think that's a pretty good deal there, just a couple of tablespoons to make all this. We're not even getting anywhere close to using all that. And uh, the other thing that I'm going to need is uh, this transparency here. And this also comes from Ink Aid, and it's their transfer film. And this stuff here, the transferee says that it requires it, so I went and bought it. And as you can see, I've got a printout on here already. And uh, this was a, um, a cruise my wife and I uh, was on for our 25th wedding anniversary uh, that I'm going to put on this thing. I'm going put to put it on this way. And uh, I can see that it's not as big as the wood plaque itself. And for that reason, I'm going to embellish this on the edges here and let it dry before we move on to transferring uh, this thing. Make them the gifts. And the nice thing about that is if you do a really nice job and, and if they're really your friends and stuff, you know, and they want to keep those memories, well, they're going to have your gift for a very, very long time. And they can always look back and... They'll remember, yeah, man, we got that from the Smiths or the Jones or whoever the case may be. And uh, it'll, it'll be with them for a long time. Maybe they'll even hand it down, depending on what it was you gave them. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and let that dry. And then when that dries, we're going to go into the next process. And that's putting on that transferee stuff that I've, that I've got in here. And we're going to put that on with this sponge brush. Okay, the paint is now dry, and so I'm ready to go to phase two of this little thing. Now, before I start sloshing on some of this uh, liquid transferee stuff onto this board, what I need to do is I need to set up my staging here just to make sure that uh, everything lays right. So I've got my little journal here that I draw in. And I'm going to line it up. It's it's pretty close in height. I mean, it's a little lower, but I'm not going to worry too much about it. And what you want to do is you want to take your, your image and you want to lay it down to where you want it to go. 
center it the best you can to where you know you like it. I got some blue painter's tape and I'm just going to use that. And I'm going to take it and I'm going to tape it on my journal here. And so now when I lay this down it will be exactly where I want it to be and I'm just going to take this and I'm going to fold it back and it's ready to be folded over when the time comes. Now I'm not going to move any of this stuff because I like it exactly where it is. So now it's time to take this stuff. Okay, I'm going to take my sponge here, sponge brush, and just start being very liberal with it. And I want to get this all the way to where I have it painted here. I don't need to get it on the paint part itself. I don't need anything to transfer onto that, but if it does, so be it. You can you can overlap if you like. But just make sure that you cover all the bare wood there. That's important. Now I'm going this way first. And now I'm going to go against the grain this way. I want to make sure I have good coverage. But you don't want to get it where you have so much liquid that when you put your image over it, that the ink starts just bleeding all over the place. So I've never done this before, but the instructions were pretty clear on you got to try to find a happy medium here. No pun intended, since this is kind of a medium that I'm using. But I'm applying it in both directions to make sure that I get every nook and cranny of that wood covered. I want it thoroughly covered. Get a little bit more here, just in case. All right, and I don't think I have any excess on here. Hope not, I don't want this puppy to bleed. Okay, now I'm gonna put this away for right now. Save the rest for another time. Okay, now you're gonna take your, your image, and I have this foam roller here, and I'm going to use the foam roller behind the image here to make sure that there are no air bubbles as I lay this down. I'm going to carefully now start laying this down. Well, <laughs> as carefully as I could. And I'm not putting any pressure on this thing. I'm going to be very careful not to smear the ink. So, just going to kind of let it sit there for a little bit and I'm just rolling this on but I'm not putting any pressure on it because I'm chicken. I'm afraid to. And I got one shot at this. But I'm going to just go over it real carefully like and I'm going to make sure I don't see any colors starting to smear. It looks okay. Can't really tell. I'm touching some areas out of the way here just to see how it, it's dealing with the colors. Make sure I'm not smearing anything. You want to make sure you have good contact. Piano keys look alright, everything looks alright. I can't 
can't help my face that's just the way it is now this thing is supposed to be on here for three to four minutes so let me see right now it's uh I'd say it's probably been a minute, so three minutes from now is uh, one, two, about uh, six after. So while I wait, I got this Mod Podge flexible scraper thing, and I'm just going to use it to carefully press down. But I want to make sure that I'm not smearing any colors. It looks pretty good there, so I'm, I think I'm doing all right. want to make sure there's no air bubbles and that I'm getting good contact so far everything's looking alright I just went over my face no problem okay boy I sure hope this comes out okay we're gonna see this together Okay, so far so good. I'm not seeing any smearing. All right. Now, I'm going to find me an area here that's discreet and I'm going to move my fingers over it, see if I make any of the colors bleed, and if they don't, then I'm going to keep doing it, because I want to make sure that I, I get a good transfer here. See, it says Yamaha on the uh, piano there, and I'm not smearing that, so that's good. That little flower here, the drinks, this funny mug they call my face so I want to make sure I get everything here so far so good I want to make sure I get a good transfer so I'm just moving my fingers around not pressing too hard but I am being firm the arm pretty face so far everything looks like it's going pretty good all right, I think we've got our four minutes here. Now, what you do is you've got to <clears throat> start peeling very carefully and just roll it back and make sure that you are transferring. If not, then go back and you know do this kind of thing. So <clears throat> I'm now pulling back and I wanna make sure everything's releasing and it looks like it's releasing, wow. Okay, call me impressed. Well, I am an expert immediately. Look at this. Oh, wow. Look at the details. Oh, wow. And did I happen to mention, oh, wow, look at that. Wow. Look at that. And what I'm going to do is after it dries, because it, it does have that liquid thing there. I mean, I'm not going to, no, I'm going to, I'll touch it on the painted part. Okay, so it's, it's got that liquid transfer stuff on there. Um, I think I'm not supposed to wipe it off or anything so I'm just gonna let it sit there 
and maybe it'll just dry up on its own. If not, I'll I'll see what happens if I if I start to wipe. Hmm. I guess I'm finding out right now. Yeah. So don't wipe it. Just leave it alone and let it dry. And then I'm going to put a coat of clear coat on this thing to protect it. But look at that. Isn't that slickola? A few moments later. Okay, I let it dry. And uh, now looking at it, I can see there's a little area right there that I didn't transfer, but that doesn't matter because it's, it's a divot in the wood itself, a defect in the wood. But wow, this looks really, really good. I'm really impressed with it. It's all dry now, so you can put your hand all over it and do whatever. But I'm going to go ahead and spray a coat of clear coat on this thing to protect it. And it's good to go. Well, I certainly hope you enjoyed this uh, video. If so, I appreciate a thumbs up. And subscribe if you haven't done so already. Click the notification bell so you'll be informed of my upcoming videos. And I will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.